Hello and welcome once again to this channel. And um, today's discussion will be quickly looking at some continuation patterns, some patterns that you see and you know the trend is about to continue. So I wouldn't waste much time uh, before I go ahead. Uh, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe icon. So, and also hit the bell. I noticed some people have been complaining they've not been getting notified when I release new videos. He also hit, after you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get notified when subsequent videos um, are, are released. So um, we'll quickly go ahead. Um, we'll start off with the bullish flag pattern. We'll start off with the bullish flag pattern. Now, this is a very, very important pattern to, to, to understand. And it's when you see it form, it is very, very profitable. It is very profitable. So basically, it's um, you see it in a bullish market and it gets a, a continuation of a, of a bull's run. So um, now let's explain how this um, pattern is, um, is formed. So quickly, price is coming from in an uptrend. Price kicks off all the way, goes all the way up and hits a zone. You can call it the resistance zone. It hits the zone, then price comes down, finds the support zone, finds the support zone here, goes back up, hits a hits a resistance, back down to the support zone. So when this happens, you can mark it up. You can also call it a channel, but in the recent sense, it's a flag. After a very good push, after a push, you have this formation. It's like it's like a pullback. It's like a pullback. You have this formation form a very narrow in a very narrow uh, channel that is formed so it, it's it's a flag so when that's after this touch after this touch and you eventually get a breakout now remember the minimum it's it's not it's um, it's four four touches of the channel of the flag so you can have one two three four five six before the breakout you can have that happen before the breakout but the minimum is four four one two three four and then the breakout the minimum, minimum is four touches before the breakout so when price breaks out of the upper border the upper um, trend line usually you get a retest if you're an aggressive you're an aggressive trader you can trade after you see a breakout or if you're conservative you could wait and after the after the retest of the zone boom you buy and price the short price is going to go up. So, um, how do you use? How do you set a take profit? How do you set your stop loss? Very important. You you can measure. You can do measured move. Now, the the point where where the the, the price action starts to move up aggressively, which is um, I will call it. If this is a pole, this is a Nigerian flag. You have the pole and you have the flag, the green white green flag. So now this is the bottom of the pole and this is the tip of the pole. So measure the bottom of the, the pole to the tip of the pole and use that same measurement as your, if you, if you do the, if you calculate the difference between this point and this point, if you have a hundred pips, set that as your take profit from the retest up all the way to where you have your take profit. So use that measured move as your take profit and be sure you're going to hit that take profit or be sure to always Secure your trade. Once price is moving, bring your stop loss and put it into profit. Don't let anybody else take your profit away from you. So it's always good to secure your profits. Always very, very advisable. So and very important, be sure when you see this formation forming, you need to, to be sure that the, the, the next high is actually lower than the first high. It's lower than the, than the tip of the pole. The same thing applies to the low. The next low has to be lower than the previous low. Very, very important. So you don't, um, do not force the market. Do not, do not trade what you want to see. But if you, if you are consistent, if you can actually see these patterns play out and follow them up, you will be profitable. You will be profitable. You won't lose your, your trade. So also, well, for your stop loss, you can have your stop loss somewhere around here at the, the touch of the last of the last lower border before the breakout. You can have your stop loss somewhere around there. And you're sure 
probably price price won't come back to that zone. If it comes and it hits your stop loss, no problem. It's part of a loss is part of the part of the game. You dust yourself up and you look for another position, another good entry for another trade. So so great, without wasting much time, let me quickly show you the a live analysis of what happened. This played out. Today is 8th of June, 20, July 2020. Wow, yeah, it's quickly running. So this played out during the week. I think on Tuesday or Monday, I can't remember. I, I, I actually showed those down on our, on our Telegram group where I told them to buy gold. And I'm sorry I didn't post the analysis early enough, but I, I called a buy. I told everybody, buy gold. I didn't tell them why. Because, because I hadn't discussed this. I haven't talked about what the flag is. So I, I assume if I, if I had posted this analysis, a lot of people won't understand. So apologies for that. Apologies for not posting the analysis. But so you, after this video, I'm sure you understand why I called that by. So what happened? You can see the pole, the Nigerian flag, the base of the pole up to the tip of the pole. And then you have this, the flag, the green, white, green flag. You can see touch, 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 touch 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 touches and breaks out with this massive engulfing candle so an aggressive trader would have bought after he saw this ag this aggressive candle bullish candle but then gold being very nice comes and does a retest and what happens next boom goes go up let's see what happened next gold goes up after the retest goes up goes all the way up so scalpers would have secured their positions but if you're using a measured move the tp won't still have been hit so i'm sure a lot of people would have been scared when price started reversing but forex is all about patience it's all about patience if you had been patient enough you would have gotten the whole goodie that happening to gold this week gold set a new a new record gold, gold is now trading at 2000 gold trading at 2000 awesome right so well, gold being nice again, very, very nice again, comes all the way down to that same zone that was broken, the same zone that was retested, and gives us a retest. Now, when this happened, I also called it another buy. Now, hey, guys, look at that um, rejection rejection on the zone. I asked those on the group to mark out themselves and and, um, and buy. Sure, some did. If you didn't do that, um, I wonder why you didn't do that because I've, I've talked about rejection. I've talked about zones. I've talked about retest. So, so that's what happened to gold. Gold comes, does the retest of that same zone. It's retested early after the breakout on the flag. And boom. So now the measured move definitely would have been hit. When we, when we see what happens to next and the next slide, we'll see where gold is at the moment. So remember, your, your stop loss ought to have been here and it would have been safe. Very, very safe. So... Let's see where gold is. Uh, this screenshot was taken today. Let's see this screenshot today, and boom, you can see where gold has gotten to. It's, it, happened, it has even passed there. At the time I took this screenshot, it was at 1815, but now it's about 2000 or thereabout. So this is it. This is it for the flag formation. If you had seen this flag and taken that trade, it, you would have hit your, T, your TP. You can see here the pole. The base of the pole so definitely you'd have hit tp somewhere around here so great so that's it for the for the bullish flag so let's go on to the next pattern which is the bearish flag pretty much the same explanation with the bullish flag but in this case the other way around the other way around in the sense that this is you see this in a in a bearish market is a sign of a continuation for a bearish run so um price is coming price makes a sharp move and comes all the way down to finding a support zone and bounces back to the upper border of the flag, comes down to the lower border to the support zone, back to the resistance, then comes to the support and breaks out, gives us a retest, and boom, price goes down. So great. So that's that's pretty much it. Um, the same thing I the same way I explained the previous um the bullish flag. Always make sure you have for the lows. Or for a bearish flag, always make sure you have a higher low and you also have a, a higher high in this way. So you can see the next high is actually higher than the previous high. The next low is higher than the previous low. And remember, you mustn't have just four. You can have more than four touches inside the flag.
but the minimum touch you need to have is four the minimum touch you need to have is four so four four touches and then you get a breakout wait for a retest if you are patient and then you're going to get a good good chance to go to get in for a sell so measure the move measure the move from the from the base of the pole to the tip of the pole and use that to set as your take profit from when you enter is as a take profit and set your stop loss below just at the touch of the of the upper border of the flag so that's pretty much it for the bearish flag so let's see an example of what happened to AUD USD this happened sometime in February I had to go back to my charts and see and see this happen so you can see from the beginning so this is the base the base of the flag comes all the way down first touch first touch this makes the the tip of the flag so of the pole apologies so we get all the hits one almost hits almost hits and um, we have another goes all the way up down up touches so we have many touches we have one two three uh does this count no this doesn't count it doesn't actually hit the flag hit the lower border and then we have this as well so and then we get a breakout hold you have done if you're an aggressive trader you go in immediately after this big push here you go in or you wait you wait patience and then price comes as expected gives a retest of the broken lower border and then boom now measured move if you measure this between this and this set that as your tp and your tp would have been hit somewhere around here and your stop loss would be definitely safe around here so guys that's it for for the bullish flag and the bearish flag i hope you understand if you do not understand please kindly drop a comment in the comment section i'm, I'm ready to run by it again for you or you can contact me if you're interested in joining our telegram group chat me up and i'm going to definitely will definitely add you up to the group so remember to subscribe to this channel and if you got value please do not hesitate to hit that like icon and once you when you subscribe kindly hit that bell notification so you get notified when i release new videos so please remember to stay safe the coronavirus it's really really real um well some people know that aside from forex i'm a full-time estate surveyor and valuer i mean two properties in real estate in abuja nigeria and um we lost someone to COVID-19 on Monday. So, and a real estate professional lost him, big man, real estate industry. So, so guys, the coronavirus is real. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's not a propaganda. It is real. Stay safe. Stay safe. God bless you. Take care.